Hey everyone, I recorded, th I'm recording this after the fact because like a fool, I didn't have my microphone working, so I'm recording this s after I've finished the video, so bear with me. Alright, we have two characters. This is one that I've decided to choose for the first episode for this um, video. So that's what we're going to be working off of, this little... Mm, mm, uh, guy that I drew on the side and we're going to take this character and we're going to edit things about it and then redraw it. So a, f a couple of things. Drumsticks. Okay. We can, we want to see aspects of the character that we can tell exactly who they are just by, by looking at them. So drumsticks, we can tell they are a drummer. They also have like a mohawk, which, you know, is more of like a punk drummer type thing. And they have a fang. So, and they also have the pointy the ang angular eyes, but with a smirk, you know, they're kind of like bad boy, but cool type character just by looking at them, which is what we like. We want to have these signifiers where we can look at them instantly and we kind of know who they are just from the photo. Okay. Which is good. So, and then we also have this like cut off t-shirt thing, which, you know, is also indicative of, of drummers, I guess. Um, and it has a graphic on the t-shirt as well. Uh, we also have cargo pants, which I don't know if that's, <laughs> if that's particularly drummer-esque. I mean, maybe it is. I mean, I don't really follow the scene that much, so I'm not fully sure. And we also have the gloves with the holes on them, which means... Which is also pretty typical. And they have some unique style shoes, you know, without the rings, the classic rings, ring sock, cuff things. So let's look at the silhouette of the character. And if we look at the silhouette, is it easy to identify? Yeah. Yeah, it is. You can tell by looking at that that he's a drummer. And that is a good thing. Um... You know, but the silhouette doesn't necessarily need to identify that it's a drummer, but it needs to just be re easily recognizable, okay? The character needs to be able... The people need to be able to see the character, and it needs to be easy to digest. So the silhouette, pretty good. Kind of looks like Tails. You know, got a, got a couple of extra things. Um, if the silhouette was muddled, if you, if you take the silhouette of your character and it looks like that, start again. Okay, change the character. Um, it's a no. And needs to be easy and easily recognizable. All right, so this graphic, um, if we just zoom in here, we can see it's a full on graphic, like fully detailed. It's more heavily rendered than the actual character with a font and everything. And typically, when that happens, um, it's a nightmare for artists to draw, especially artists that are being commissioned. Like you can tell that the person who drew that had to put the overlay it and then warp the image, which might be fine for some people, but it's a no from me. I do not like graphic tees. Um, I just like it. Keep it simple. Now I'm circling the cargo shorts for some reason that I can't remember. So let's just move on from that. Um, drumsticks look cool. Uh, I think I'm explaining why, you know, some of the changes that I want to make. Yeah, again with the t-shirt, man. All right, we get it. All right. I wish I could hear what I was saying at this time. Sorry, I should cut this out and be good at editing. And you're like, oh, what a waste of my time. I cannot stand this account. Okay, oh yes. Look at these features. Look at these edits that I've made. I thought headband, you know, f headscarf. Oh, man, I can't think of what it's called right now. I thought that'd be cool. Also, like some sort of pocket that, hold, that houses the drumsticks, right? You know, headband, so drummer esque. I mean, I think of a drummer straight away, especially with like, Mohawk style. Maybe you think it's cliche. Maybe not. Now, the shoes. I want those cuffs, baby. Give me those cuffs. I want to change it. I want to I wanna adjust some things. So I think what we should do is turn this into a boot. I think a boot style would look cool. And then the kind of like cargo army pants. 
I just think that would look sick. I think that look in general, when people wear it in real life, looks phenomenal. <laughs> it just looks so clean. The silhouette is awesome. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do that, and we're just going to get rid of the, the tank top T cutout um, because we want to again we want to keep it very simple. Now I think the the gloves with the um, finger holes is good. That's simple enough and deviates enough from the usual design, but is relevant to the character. It's not just for no reason. So now we're going to do I'm going to do a real quick sketch, real real quick, you know basic sketch very very swiftly so if you're like this is so unclean um then it's like yeah because <laughs> i'm literally just doing this and i am not putting enough effort i'm not speeding this i'm like no i'm just getting the content I'm trying to get the information to you as fast as possible now you notice the ear on the character is kind of like a rouge the bat-esque ear but since we can tell it's a fox I think I'm just gonna go with the usual, what how Tails' ear is, which is just a little bigger, kind of has that line in the line, and we'll, we'll go from there. I'm gonna maintain, these these are so cool, like the shapes of the, the mohawk, but they're also so hard to draw. You know, I'm kind of on Struggle Street here. Did any, does anyone remember Aeon the Hedgehog from Sonic Adventure? Final Fantasy Sonic Advent. I can't remember what it was called, but this is basically Aeon the Hedgehog's spikes, which were forward-facing. It was revolutionary at the time because every single character had its spikes backwards. It was simple enough, but it was cool enough. Aeon the Hedgehog is an example of prime character design. People ate that stuff up, and Sega hasn't even attempted to emulate it in any way. So um, it's still ripe for the pickings for everyone out there. Okay, um, I like the multiple, you know, tufts of fur. It's not just three, just three is kind of like the norm. Okay, so we'll, we'll give him his, his little muzzle, tufts of muzzle. Um, and that's pretty much the head taken care of. We'll give him his smile, patent smile, with the tooth, because that's important. It kind of makes him kind of angry or kind of dangerous, but cool which is kind of it's a little different from sonic sonic's more like just generally cool um unless you know like he'll shank you for <laughs> for like petty change or something which i think suits this character more okay so now we're adding the headband uh, and we're doing it on a separate layer just because it kind of overlaps with a lot okay we're gonna make it free flowing because why not you know and we're not again i'm not spending a lot of time on this so all of this could be refined. This could have been done in a really cool big pose, but I thought that instead I would just show, like, you want to map it on the character standing still and then pose them. If you can't map it on them standing still, then posing on them, you can't rely on them having to pose in every instance to make them look interesting. They have to just seem interesting from the standstill. Okay, so we're just adding. Now, since we're getting rid of the T-shirt, um, we're just going to put the body in. And I thought what we'd do is we'd, we'd keep the belt, okay, that little belt there. I like the belt, see, it's right there. And it's kind of got those lines on it. I thought we'd keep that. Um, and to make it relevant and not a one-off random thing, let's make every single cuff on this character the same material uh, as the belt. Okay, so that, um, the fur coming out, okay, it's pretty cool. Um, so we're just, I'm kind of assuming that he's got a lot of fur and that slightly separates him from like silver because silver is only goes halfway, but it goes cr over his shoulders, but we'll, we'll bring it all the way down. I think I'm talking about the silhouette here. We got the two, two different things going on. Um, yeah, so now with the, with the fingerless gloves, I like that, and we're going to put them in fists, so we're not really going to show them off in this picture, but you can imagine. Now, I'm going to attempt to put boots on this character very quickly, 
and as well as and I'm I kind of I'm kind of struggling here. I want to also have like the real folded, you know, thick um, cargo boots. And on a Sonic character, especially with high boots, that's difficult. It's kind of difficult to to convey. So we we kind of take a little bit here to get that sorted. Okay, so let's take that belt idea and we'll add it to those boots, sir. So we're adding the motif to every single cuff. And that's what we want to do. We don't want to just have these one-offs. Like, notice the, the belt. You can't super tell from here. But the belt is actually a different color from the rest of the characters. Or he, the, the belt is like the same color as the shade. Shade tone on the skin. Okay, so we'll get the... Uh, the boots drawn in. I think having boots and like a belt uh, and like pants is, is just unique. But it's not, it's not too much. It's like we're just stretching the limits here. Okay, I'm just making some minor adjustments. Okay, and now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move the arm out of the way so we can actually see some of the details. Because um, that's important. There we go. Now, now he looks, he just looks more put together. And you'll notice that I'm just making adjustments to the anatomy. But I'm keeping the general ideas expressed in my Tracy Dudley anatomy video. So watch that video um, if you want to practice in that way. Because the anatomy of it, the two characters are different, as you can see. I'm going for more of a comic look. So here's an idea. As I'm, as I'm drawing this, I realize, what if we had a unique take on, like, drum pocket pack thing? What if we had it at the back, like swords almost, like he can unsheath them, you know, from, from his back pocket. And I'll draw it from behind, so I'll draw his back. Sorry, this is the pocket. I'll add the, the tail in there as well. Um, oh, and by the way, um, the, the artist kind of adds like this overlapping furs more realistic and less like how the sonic characters are so thought i'd point that out okay so oh sorry that was the back so we have the back and then they have like this little packet with the with the drumsticks you know kind of it, it's not something that you would make sense that would make sense or has good utility but it would just look cool you know you can imagine him putting his hands behind his back and then pulling them out you know in the in the pose on the left you know like ping. um you know, it's not, not super far off. So here we have kind of the finished product. But let's talk about the colors now. We have, we have the, the character drawn in. And we'll, we'll check out that silhouette here. Oh, and I decided to add one of the pockets um, from the cargo shorts. So it's not completely, you know, it's still, a, it's like a variation of the original drawing. Oh yeah, and I add these shoelaces because I think the shoelaces, you know, the thin shoelaces, super inoffensive. Um, you can go so overkill with the boots, especially people do it <laughs> all the time. But you have to understand that the reason Sonic characters can get away with it is because their entire body is just one color. Silver has five colors on his boots, but the rest of him is silver and white. And so you need to have these like accented um, gloves and things to kind of add interest. So we're going to keep it very simple because we've got a lot going on. We've got a headband, we've got cuffs, belts, etc. Okay, so I'm just m removing some of the, the overlapping lines. And look at that. Let's compare. 
Let's get them a little bigger, a little cleaner, because we're going to add some colors. Now, I think that the color that is used by the character is awesome. Okay. I'm talking about the silhouettes here. Yes, we get it. Silhouettes. Let's see that silhouette in action. Okay. Cool. It's a, you know... I think up against Sonic it would look different enough. Up against Tails it would look different enough. But you can still tell... Kind of that it's a Sonic character. You know, it's not... Uh, again, this is a pretty rough drawing, so I'm not, you know... Completely... Upset about it. But... Yeah, I think it looks cool. And you got, like, the... The little unique silhouette pieces, if you will. Okay. Can we talk about color? Can we talk about color? Yes. Alright, I like this color. Tikal doesn't have this color. Uh, Marine the Raccoon doesn't have this color. No one really has this color. This is a unique color. So, well done for choosing this. It's kind of like a sunset coral salmon and i like it i'm all for this color so we're gonna put this on a separate layer and we're gonna add the color to the character and as we add color it starts to character starts to pop you know it, it becomes this wash when it's all lines like that but this is like the fun part you know just throwing color on it and, and doing it unabashedly when i am creating character ideas I, I love drawing them real quick and then adding color just to separate things and it's like I, I get more inspiration as I'm adding color because color is a whole a whole big thing when you're designing characters never design like perfect images like on the left the first time just get it rough just sketch it together like crazy okay so now we have white, so we have all the white parts already, so we're not going to add any... We're just going to keep that straight white. We're not going to add uh, any shadows or anything, or a, or a darker white, I think. Keeping it simple, you know, like a comic book, um, is fine. So... <laughs> dun, 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 okay. Uh, do not add black, ever. Never, ever, ever, ever add black. E okay? Unless you're Infinite the Jackal or Shadow the Hedgehog. Instead, look at the color wheel, get your original color, okay? And use a complementary color, okay? S switch to the other side. And, and give it, don't, don't wash it out. Give it color. Sonic characters are supposed to be bursting with color. Look at that. Doesn't that look sick? I feel like I've seen a character, a fan character that's, that, that have these colors, but I think I think that looks awesome. That's a nice complimentary. It still kind of acts, you know, like the black does, um, but it just, it looks so nicer. It's so much, it's so much more fun to look at. The moment you add black, <sighs> the character just becomes gross and muddied. Unless black is like their whole motif, that's the point and purpose, and you have it so that they're either, you know, that's like the focal point, like shadow or infinite. And let's, f I'm looking at ways that we can add this blue, this bluish green, um, and we're putting it on the hands, the boots, the um, cuffs, sorry, not the cuffs, the gloves. And, um, let's see, the, the pinky purple, to me, just seems left field. I get the motif, you know, the eyes and the cuffs, but it's too, it doesn't match with anything, you know, I, so we're gonna, we're gonna put that to the side for the moment, and let's focus on the yellow. I think the yellow looks good, the yellow works with the orange, okay, that's a good choice, but we're gonna add it to all the little cuffs, so now... These, like, <laughs> ribbed-looking cuffs, now they pop out, okay? Um, they're kind of like these 
these focal points on the character and they all match so each one isn't different and we're gonna ask, we're just gonna add it to the to the pants as well so so everything's kind of you know we, we have like three colors four colors <laughs> the character looks simple though now <coughs> Excuse me, we can add yellow to the, the soles of the shoes. But I personally think that it's almost like candy cane striped yellow, blue, yellow, blue. So I'm just, just to mix it up and keeping with all those white points, the fur, the muzzle, the ear, we're just going to keep the soles of the shoes white. And again, it's just personal preference. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm blitzing through this. Uh, I'm literally like doing this entire thing in 20 minutes. Um, oh, forgot the, forgot the fingers there. So, again, we're just playing around. Now, I, th I thought it'd be cool if we made the pocket um, on the back yellow, kind of match with the ribbing. And you could you could make it yellow, you know, the, the sticks, drumsticks yellow. Or, you know, because they're so small, maybe you could make them slightly a different color, like real drumstick color, and that would, that would be okay. Now... As I'm drawing this, I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we had like a drumstick in his, in his headband? You know, it's kind of unique. It shows that he's a drummer immediately. He still looks really, really cool. So, I'm just gonna add in uh, like a single drumstick, and super rough. You know, it doesn't really look like a drumstick, but it's like I just want to see what the shape and the color looks like. And you know, it matches with the cuffs now. And so now we have that motif running and it just it looks cool it i think it looks cool <laughs> it's also unique unique cool simple that's what we're looking for and now you could get away with putting in kind of purplish pink eyes but even then i don't i think we could use a better color and you know something like that kind of opens up that you know he's even though he's bright looking he still looks kind of dangerous and punk punk-ish so again i mean that could be very super duper useful um in the whole thing you know in portraying the character and if we wanted to we could add a second drumstick you know if if we didn't want to use the little back pocket and i mean that would be fine you know it's unintrusive to the character um it doesn't stop someone from being able to pose in fact i think it actually expands their ability to pose the character because you can do a lot with those cool little drumsticks you know in his hair i think that's that's cool that's unique all right so i'm not saying we made the character better but i i think this is a cool character we took a lot of the design elements and the motifs from the first one and we we looked at them in different ways And we can, if we put them side by side, obviously one is, you know, nicely rendered, clean. But in terms of who I think is just like cool, look, fun, like the character that I would want to draw more. The simplicity, for the simplicity's sake, the flowing nature of the headbands, um, the drumsticks. I just think it's a, it's really cool. So. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, please smash that subscribe button, that like button, and please drink some water. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Um, if you want, submit these on Twitter. If you can find the original post, then I...